Okay, in the last video, we were setting the timing. So we got that done. And now, we're at the point where all the components have been installed. They can be installed before we uh, lower the engine to the ground and connect the transmission. We've installed the header, as you can see earlier, the oil pump, a little orange thing there. We have all the fuel injectors installed and the intake manifold, power steering pump installed, and I put a new thermostat in the back. Um, we're going to hold off on the alternator, which goes here, and the air conditioning compressor, which goes here, into after the engine is installed. It's easier that way. Also, we're going to wait until after the engine is installed to um, connect here the distributor because I don't want to damage it. Other than that, tomorrow we're going to lower it to the ground and we'll connect up the transmission. Prior to that, of course, we will uh, connect the flywheel, pressure plate, clutch, and uh, the flex plate there. And uh, they're right here. The uh, pressure plate, the clutch plate, the um, flywheel, <coughs> flywheel here, and uh, the flex plate. And that hole right there is for the starter. The starter will be installed midway through installation because there are some wires that have to connect to the block underneath the starter so we do that in the midair we connect the wire and then we install the starter halfway down after you've connected those wiring harness wires back there to the starter and then we lower it on down to the block I mean and then we lower it on down okay so that's pretty much what the finished engine looks like without of course, you don't see the spark plug wires because the distributor is not on. And of course, you don't see the transmission, which goes on this end because it's still up on the engine stand. So tomorrow we'll lower it to the ground, install the flywheel first, then the pressure plate. Um, of course, we'll have the clutch in between them with a special tool aligning them so the splines any uh, input shaft of the transmission can go in there nice and smooth. Then we'll put the transmission on and bolt it up. And then we'll put it back up on the hoist, put it at the what, 38 degree angle, and lower it into our ready engine bay, which is over here. And we have our, the other end of our header pipe already installed here, waiting uh, for the engine. So that's the current status, and uh, I guess the next video will be either the engine being installed or the engine installed, <laughs> or we may uh, take one quickie once we get the uh, transmission connected so you can see the whole thing together. All right, that's it. I'm going to try and keep these videos real short, under five minutes now, and uh, keep, them, keep them coming. <laughs>